Mr. Dov Zakaim is the former Under Secretary of Defense in George W. Bush administration and currently senior advisor at Center for Strategic and International Studies. He is now joining us live from Washington, D.C. Mr. Zakaim, welcome to We on Wild as One. Good to see you. There are critics who say that Russia's devastating use of Soviet era glide bombs shows how urgently Kiev needs air defense systems. Your thoughts? Well, absolutely. Uh, what we have done, particularly in the United States, much more, frankly, than our European allies, particularly the British, is that we keep deterring ourselves. We keep telling ourselves, well, if we provide Zelensky whatever he asks for, the, the Russians will go nuclear. Trouble is, they have not gone nuclear, even as we've allowed F-16 fighter aircraft to go to Russia, to Ukraine, excuse me. Uh, as well as Bradley uh, armored personnel carriers, Patriot missiles, air defense systems, which is what Zelensky desperately needs. What he also needs, and rightly so, is the ability to strike inside Russia, which we, the United States, have essentially told our allies and, of course, ourselves that we're not going to permit Zelensky to do. Mm -hmm. He needs that. And by the way, that increase of 180,000 troops is the third such increase that Putin has had since the war began. And it tells you that the Russian military is getting very thin. They did not expect the attack on Kursk. They don't have the people to push the Ukrainians back in the Kursk from the Kursk region. Actually, the Ukrainians are still making slight gains there. The Russians want to advance and are slowly advancing. It's nowhere nearly as quickly as they thought. Mm -hmm. In eastern Ukraine, uh, they're still challenging Donetsk City and a couple of other places. And then, of course, they always have to worry that uh, their border with NATO, particularly now that they have a 900-kilometer border with Finland, mm -hmm. uh, is something they have to defend as well. Uh, so Putin uh, clearly has his problems as well, but... Obviously, uh, given that he is determined to destroy Ukraine by any means, and he's using his glide bombs and ballistic missiles the way the uh, Nazis used V1s and V2s to terrorize Britain toward the end of World War II, he's not going to stop. And the only way to get him to ease up and negotiate is to give the Ukrainians what they're asking for. Well, with that being said, Mr. Zakaim, why are storm shadow missiles crucial for Ukraine? Well, very simply, they're longer range. That gives the Ukrainians the ability to hit targets inside Russia. Now, they've been doing that already with uh, their drones, as you reported as well. There have been attacks inside Russia. But the storm shadow really gives the Ukrainians something they just don't have right now and creates another major problem for Putin. So they need those. They need, frankly, they need our long-range ATACMs, which are actually longer range even than Storm Shadow, and they need our air defense systems. And let me add, they need more F-16s too. Finally, Mr. Zakayim, Putin warned Ukraine that the use of long-range arms will put NATO at war with Russia. What do you make of that statement by Putin? Well, um, they have been attacking uh, Crimea, which the Russians says, says are, is theirs. Uh, they haven't gone to war with NATO. Frankly, he's not in a position to go to war with NATO. As I just said, his troops are already stretched thin, and the, the ones that he's calling up, of course, need to be trained. Uh, they're not exactly high in morale. And finally, he's been threatening nuclear war for quite some time, practically two years. Uh, and he knows as well as anyone else that a nuclear war may not turn out as well for him as he thinks. All right. I've been talking to Mr. Dove Zakaim live in Washington, D.C. Mr. Zakaim, thank you for your time and for talking to We on Wild as One today. Thank you for having me. For all the latest news, download the We on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.